Mm -hmm. Some specific doubt. Would you say you'd like a thicker novel or something a little thinner, let's say, like this? Okay, you, you don't mind just as long as it's good. Well, that comes from a person's opinion if they think a book's good or not. So, here was what I was reading in Game of Thrones. Presume you've heard of it. Yeah. This is the first book in the series. It's pretty good. You've never actually seen the show? Well, I would suggest you start off with this then. Because it's pretty good. Do you want to hear me read the back of it for you? Okay, come, come closer. closer. Summer span decades. Winter can last a lifetime and the struggle for the Iron Throne has begun. As Warden of the North, Lord Eddard Stark counts a, a, a curse when King Robert bestows upon him the office of the Hand. His honour weighs him down at court, where a true man does what he will, not what he must, and a dead enemy is a thing of beauty. The old gods have no power in the South. Stark's family is split, and there is treachery at court. Worse, the vengeance mad heir of the deposed Dragon King has grown to maturity in exile in the Free Cities. He claims the Iron Throne. No, it doesn't really seem. People prefer the show, I like the book. So. Okay. So you're looking for something a bit more modern then? This one's a pretty old book. This one's off of 30 years old. So. It's a beautiful old book though. It's a bit different, it's got that. The old book smell. The old book sound. Hmm. That's not really your thing though. So I'll pop that to one side. Hmm. Do you like spy novels? You do? Okay, well, I'm sure I've got... Oh, here we go. We've got a few here. From the Cherub series. Some that someone's brought back me. I haven't got into reading this. So it's a good little series, as I've read most of it myself. Okay, so do you want me to read the back to you? Okay. People's Republic is the first book in a brand new series from Robert Muchamore. Cherub's newest recruit is on his first job befriending a spoilt rich kid whose grandma runs a billion dollar criminal empire. But 12 year old Ryan's got no idea that this routine mission will turn into the one of the biggest in Cherub's history. Cherub is a secret organisation with one crucial advantage. Even experienced criminals never suspect that kids are spying on them. For official purposes, these children do not exist. 
If you like uh, zombie books and different things and zombie shows, like The Walking Dead, this series covers if children were trapped in a zombie apocalypse. So I'll read the back to you. When the sickness came, every parent, police officer, politician, every adult fell ill. The lucky ones died. The others are crazed, confused and hungry. Only children under 14 remain and they're fighting to survive. Now there's rumours of a safe place to hide and so a gang of children begin their quest across London where all through the city, down alleyways, in deserted houses, underground, the grown-ups lie in wait. But can they make it there alive? No. Not in a type. Try this one and see if you like this sound of this one. I know we've got number one and two of this in. So this, this one. So this is Department I-9 by Will Hill. So I'll, again I'll read it back to you. Department 6 is the army. Department 13 is MI5. Department I-9 is the reason you're alive. When Jamie Carpenter's mother is kidnapped by strange creatures, he finds himself dragged into Department I-9, the government's most secret organiser. Sorry. Even librarians have trouble reading. Leave me alone. Government's most secret agency. Fortunately for Jamie, Department I-9 can provide the tools he needs to find his mother and to kill the vampires who want him dead. But unfortunately for everyone, something much older is stirring, something even Department I-9 can't stand up against. Some people say 19, some people say I-9. It's actually explained in the book. You like the sound of that? Okay then. Well, I need to... Just quickly check it over. Would you like to see any of the other books? Are you? No? Are you sure? Okay. Well, I hope you have fun with that one. 